Welcome to Battlefield Bad Company 2. You might be thinking, why is this guy playing an almost 6 year old game? It's simple, Bad Company 2 redefined what a multiplayer shooter was to me, and this video is made to explain what made it so great. The points I make in this video are only my opinions and you could disagree with them. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. What is Bad Company 2? If you don't already know, it's an FPS title that released in 2010. It comes with a full story and many different multiplayer maps and modes. The story of Bad Company 2 was decent, but it was nothing to write home about. The point of this video is the multiplayer segment of Bad Company 2, which is why the game is great. What was and still is special about Bad Company 2's multiplayer? First off, it redefined what a Battlefield game was. The Battlefield franchise was always known for excellent teamwork and huge vehicular battles. The franchise was also known for its hardcore community and PC dominated fanbase. Bad Company 2 changed all of that. It still had the teamwork and vehicles of past titles, except it vastly improved on the infantry combat and destruction. It also introduced Battlefield to the mainstream console market which was dominated at the time by Halo 3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Besides redefining Battlefield, what else did Bad Company 2 do so great? The game modes and maps. Each map in Bad Company 2 was not designed for all game modes in mind. This meant that you won't be playing Conquest on a map designed from the ground up for Rush. This made each round of Bad Company 2 feel incredibly optimized. Rush was also a new game mode in Bad Company 2 that perfectly combined close quarter combat with long range fighting while trying to attack or defend MCOM stations. It was a great alternative to the standard Conquest game mode. Gameplay was a key factor in what made Bad Company 2 great. There were four classes in the game, Assault, Engineer, Medic, and Recon. Each one of these classes had a specific role to do, and they were almost perfectly balanced, which is not the case in Battlefield 3 or 4. The guns in these classes were all unique and served a purpose, meaning that there weren't any reskins in the game. A huge part of the gameplay is destruction. Destruction was already a thing in Battlefield with Battle Company 1 and Battlefield 1943, but Bad Company 2 took it to a whole new level. Normally, you would just blow up a single wall in the house or maybe two. Now, you could completely level the house. This meant lots of new gameplay opportunities. If you see an MCOM in Rush inside a house, you could level the house and destroy the MCOM in the process. Not to make this video a bit long, I'll list the final reason why Bad Company 2 is great. The graphics and sound. In Bad Company 2, you fight across a variety of stunning environments, from deserts, to jungles, to mountains, or even islands. These environments still look great compared to Battlefield 4. The draw distance is also pretty huge for a 2010 shooter. The sound is what this game will always be known for. I still consider it one of the best sounding games. Every gun in Bad Company 2 has that heavy punch that recent Battlefield games lack. The sound of a sniper rifle bullet whizzing past your head is unforgettable. Vehicles also had great sounds. The sound of a Black Hawk firing its miniguns travel on in distance. The game even had separate sounds for indoor and outdoor environments. I'll give you a short example of the sound. Did that explain to you why I'm still playing a 6 year old shooter? Bad Company 2 felt unique, and there is nothing like it. The game had quality content, which recent Battlefield games somewhat lack. I hope you enjoyed the video, and tell me your thoughts on this game. If you've never played Bad Company 2, you could only find it for $5 on G2A.com. It still has a dedicated player base, so it might be worth trying. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Gotta